Shashi Tharoor has also now waded in. He says the entire controversy on the BBC documentary is unnecessary. He says there is no point in talking about things that happened in the past. No, I don't think they are insulting the Supreme Court in that I've not seen the documentary, but what I understand is they say that the Supreme Court has uh, upheld the has given a clean shit to those concerned and so on. That's already in the documentary. So they have not they have not misrepresented or attacked the Supreme Court. But as I understand it, this is a documentary about uh, a report submitted 20 years ago by British diplomats then posted in India who were sent to Gujarat at the time of the riots and who conveyed their findings uh, to, uh, to, to London. It was an internal confidential report that internally confidentially was not made public by the British government but which the BBC has now got hold of and made a story of. So, <coughs> to my mind, these are not matters that should rock the sovereignty of the government. Shashi Tharoor there coming out and uh, straying uh, from the party stand. Remember Rahul Gandhi yesterday had come out and said that uh, no amount of ban is going to help from the truth coming out. The Congress party has been speaking of the alleged censorship by the central government in asking YouTube and Twitter to take down this documentary, Shashi Tharoor going on to say that uh, this entire controversy is unnecessary to begin with. He says, why speak of something that happened decades ago? Let's listen in once again to what Shashi Tharoor had to say. No, I don't think they are insulting the Supreme Court in that I've not seen the documentary, but what I understand is they say that the Supreme Court has uh, upheld the, has given a clean shit to those concerned and so on. That's already in the documentary, so they've not they have not misrepresented or attacked the Supreme Court. But as I understand it, this is a documentary about uh, a report submitted 20 years ago by British diplomats, then posted in India, who were sent to Gujarat at the time of the riots and who conveyed their findings uh, to, uh, to, to London. It was an internal confidential report that internally confidentially was not made public by the British government, but which the BBC has now got hold of and made a story of. So <coughs> to my mind, these are not matters that should rock the sovereignty of the government. That was a Congress Member of Parliament Shashi Tharoor uh, coming out and claiming that his entire controversy is unnecessary. Remember, opposition has been uh, slamming the centre for alleged censorship when they decided to take down uh, this documentary from social media platforms like uh, Twitter and YouTube. Neetu, my colleague, now joins us for more on this. Neetu, many a times in the past as well, uh, Shashi Tharoor has spoken his mind very often that has been something that isn't the party line. This time around as well, it seems like that's the case. Uh, no, but uh, what Tarur is uh, clearly saying is that he's against this kind of censorship. But if, he, if you ask the legal, uh, I mean, uh, the argument, he says that the argument that uh, this has been laid to rest uh, by the highest judiciary is correct. But at the same time, those others who are saying about uh, this, the other point of view, uh, I mean, they are also correct. What he is saying is that he's against the censorship. The government shouldn't have uh, blocked this. They should have just let it be. If people want to watch it, uh, they they have to. They they have every right to watch it. So that was Tarul saying that. Yeah, he also said that this entire. Um, uh, issue which uh, the the youth uh, organizations in Kerala, while they try to film this documentary, they are also acting in defiance to the censorship. And he says that he believes in it and he stands by that. That there shouldn't be any kind of censorship in this particular matter. And uh, he also said that our, na our sovereignty and national security is not so fragile that it will be affected by something like a mere documentary. He's right. saying that these arguments are these arguments that this is going to affect the national uh, uh, security and the sovereignty is is just not right because uh, it, it gives the world a message that India is so very thin-skinned and at sure. the same time the national security and sovereignty is so fragile that it will be affected. Uh, right, sorry by, to interrupt uh, you there Neetu. Shahzad Poonawala of the BJP joining us on this broadcast. Uh, Shahzad Shashi Tharoor also coming out and saying that this entire controversy uh, seems to be unnecessary. But he also then goes on to say that this kind of censorship by taking it down is not something, uh, is not the kind of messaging that we would want to give to the world. 
You know, I think that today is the worst day possibly for Dr. Tharoor to talk about censorship on a day when his own party has thrown censorship and an emergency mindset to the extent that a colleague of his from the Kerala unit wants to express the view that national sovereignty should be above uh, and national interest should be above partisan interest and propaganda. Mm. And on that day, he's forced to leave the party. So I think Dr. Tharoor would do well to, in fact, look inside and see the kind of censorship and the lack of democracy that exists within within his own party. As far as the documentary is concerned, you know, I'm very perturbed. Sir. Shashiji is a very smart, uh, intelligent MP. Mm. Uh, you don't have faith on the armed forces when they do surgical strike. You ask for Saboot. But when it comes to a propaganda film, which the courts of this country have already ruled upon, that you believe as if it is gospel. But Shashi Tharoor so, also goes on to say, uh, Shahzad, that uh, the film does talk about how uh, the Supreme Court has ruled on it and has uh, given uh, Prime Minister Modi the clean chit. So it does put out that side as well. You know, I haven't seen this uh, documentary film because I need to only go by what the courts of law rule in, in categorical judgment. And I don't know if this is the case. If that is uh, the case, then Mr. Tharoor should tell us that why is it that this film is being used by some of his own people and the ecosystem and his people to actually say that, you know, uh, these matters need to be re-examined. So therefore, this is a contradictory statement. If you believe in the Supreme Court of this country, if you believe in the courts of law of this country, then you don't need a propaganda film sponsored by a colonial legacy-driven organization to tell you the facts of that case. Mm. You should go by what the court has said. So rather than, you know, being in a situation of contradiction, Mr. Tharoor should A, tell us that if internal democracy truly exists, why is his colleague being forced to quit the party on expressing a view different to the view of Rahul Gandhi? Secondly, can he tell us that is the Supreme Court's verdict final on it or is the verdict of some propaganda film 20 years too late made with certain motivated interests supposed to be taken above the verdict of the Supreme Court? Sure. Sure. Shahzad Punawala, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. The controversy there continues to boil over though because the part two of the docuseries is also now out with the opposition jumping in.